Throughout the Old Testament, we see various figures serving as types or characters who foreshadow certain events and people yet to come, with each character seen as a succession or a progression of events leading to the Messiah. We see this when we compare Moses and Elijah. First of all, Moses feared for his life and fled from Pharaoh to the desert, and Elijah feared for his life and fled from Jezebel to the desert. Moses lived in the desert for 40 years, Elijah lived in the desert for 40 days. God spoke to Moses on Mount Horeb, and God spoke to Elijah on Mount Horeb. Moses performed miracles for and sent plagues on the king of Egypt, and Elijah performed miracles for and sent plagues on the king of Israel. Moses anointed Joshua to replace him, and Elijah anointed Elijah to replace him. Moses was given bread from heaven, manna. Elijah was given bread from heaven, fed by ravens, and fed by an angel. Moses parted the Red Sea, a symbol of death, and walked across on dry ground. Elijah parted the Jordan River, a symbol of death, and walked across on dry ground. No one knows where Moses was buried because God buried him, and no one knows where Elijah was buried because God took him directly to heaven. We see something very similar when we compare Elijah and John the Baptist. Elijah was a fiery speaker, and John was a fiery speaker. Elijah lived in the desert, John lived in the desert. Elijah wore a leather belt, John wore a leather belt. King Ahab's wife, Jezebel, tried to kill Elijah, and King Herod's wife, Herodias, killed John. Elijah parted the Jordan River, a symbol of death, and John baptized people in the Jordan River, a symbol of death. Elijah took Elisha into the Jordan River, John took Jesus into the Jordan River. The heavens were opened when Elijah ascended and the Spirit came down upon Elisha. And the heavens were opened when John baptized Jesus and the Spirit came down upon Jesus. Elijah pointed the people to the one who would come after him, Elisha, and John pointed the people to the one who would come after him, Jesus. The prophets foretold that another prophet would come before the day of the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah, and Jesus claimed that John was the Elijah who was to come. Now, we can take all this another step further by comparing Joshua and Elisha. Joshua means Yahweh is salvation, and Elisha means my God is salvation. Joshua came after Moses, and Elisha came after Elijah. Joshua was a lot like Moses, and Elisha was a lot like Elijah. Joshua parted the Jordan River, a symbol of death, and walked across on dry ground, and Elisha parted the Jordan River, a symbol of death, and walked across on dry ground. Joshua was met with resistance when he went up into the land, and Elisha was met with resistance when he went up into the land. God sent the hornet to destroy and drive away Joshua's enemies, and God sent two bears to destroy and drive away Elisha's enemies. And then finally we come to the Messiah himself, when we compare Elisha and Jesus. Elisha means, my God is salvation. Jesus means Yahweh is salvation. Elijah looks forward for Elisha. John looks forward for Jesus. The heavens are opened at the Jordan River and the Spirit comes upon Elisha. And the heavens are opened at the Jordan River and the Spirit comes upon Jesus. Elisha has more disciples than Elijah and Jesus has more disciples than John. Elisha multiplies a small amount of food to feed 100 men and Jesus multiplies a small amount of food to feed 5,000 men and again to 4,000. Elisha rescues an axe head from sinking Jesus rescues Peter from sinking. Elisha heals the sick, specifically lepers. Jesus heals the sick, specifically lepers. Elisha raises a boy from the dead and gives him back to his mother. Jesus raises a boy from the dead and gives him back to his mother. Elisha helps desperate widows in need. Jesus helps desperate widows in need. Elisha reaches out to non-Israelites and sinners. And Jesus reaches out to non-Israelites and sinners. Elisha leads blind people. And Jesus is a guide for the blind. Elisha was betrayed by his greedy disciple Gehazi, and Jesus was betrayed by his greedy disciple Judas. And finally, Elisha's body is placed in a tomb, but his death brings life to another dead man. And Jesus' body is placed in a tomb, but his death brings life to all people. Furthermore, it was Moses and Elijah who appeared when Jesus was transfigured on the mountain, showing that the law and the prophets, all of these types, found their fulfillment in Jesus the Messiah.